The associative property of multiplication tells us that when only multiplication is involved, the order in which the multiplication is performed does not affect the product. In other words, if you are multiplying many numbers together, it does not matter what order you multiply them. The answer, or the product, will always be the same. So, if I look at this example 4 times 3 times 2, the associative property of multiplication tells me that I can either multiply 4 times 3 first, which equals 12, and then multiply that by 2, which equals 24, or I could multiply 3 times 2 first, which equals 6, and then times 4. 6 times 4 also equals 24. It also tells me that I could do 4 times 2 first. 4 times 2 equals 8, and then times 3, 8 times 3, also equals 24. So it doesn't matter which order we do the multiplication in if our problem is involving only multiplication, the product or the answer will be the same no matter what order we multiply in. There is another way of looking at the associative property of multiplication. In mathematics, we use parentheses, which are these symbols, to tell us which operations are to be performed first. So when I see this same problem here, 4 times 3 times 2, with parentheses involved and with parentheses in it, that tells me that I need to do the operation that's inside of the parentheses first. So, in this case, I specifically need to multiply 4 times 3 first. And so, I can do my 4 times 3 equals 12. We have all those multiplication facts memorized. 4 times 3 equals 12, so I put my 12 right here. And then, I continue with my problem of times 2. 12 times 2, so 4 times 3 equals 12, and then times 2 and 12 times 2 equals 24, as we've already seen up here. So this is one version of the problem. But now let's look at this version. Same exact numbers, 4 times 3 times 2, but when I see those parentheses in math, it tells me perform this operation first. So I need to do the 3 times 2 operation, multiply 3 times 2 first, and then continue with my problem of 4 times my product. So again, I have all my multiplication tables and my multiplication facts memorized, so I know right away that 3 times 2 equals 6. So I'm going to place this 6 right below the 3 times 2 there, and I don't want to forget I still have my 4 times out in front, and now I'm looking at the problem of four, th 4 times 3 times 2 is equal to 4 times 6, which is equal to 24. So we can see that both this 4 times 3 with the parentheses around it times 2 and this 4 times 3 times 2 are equal to one another and the order in which we do our multiplication will always get the same answer when our problem involves all multiplication. This is the associative property of multiplication.